Productions by Meg and Jen. Picture yourself and your life as you know it now. Big cities, trees, cat, dog. What did you have for breakfast? What are you wearing? Think about what your life might be like without fungi. No difference, you think? There'd be none of this stuff. Nothing for us to eat. Nothing for us to drink. Nothing for us to wear. No animals. No fertile soil for plants to grow. No fungal medicines, insects, or even humans. So what are fungi? Fungi are not part of the plant kingdom or part of the animal kingdom. In fact, they have a kingdom of their own, which is estimated to have over 1.5 million species. Fungi can be single-celled like yeast or made up of many cells which form a filament called hyphae, which form a network called mycelium. The hyphae release enzymes into their surrounding which break down the food so they can absorb it as they cannot make their own food. Did you know that the largest living organism on this planet is a fungus? Its mycelium is spread over 3.4 square miles. A truly humongous fungus. Fungi are the garbage cans of the planet, our best recyclers, and without them, the world's nutrient supply would be locked up in dead matter. Fungi can form mutually beneficial partnerships with plants and animals. 90% of all plants have fungal partners and they are called mycorrhizas. The fungi supply water and nutrients to the plants in exchange for sugars. Some of these interactions are very ancient and we now know that plants would not have made it onto land around 450 million years ago without the help of their fungal partners. Fungi can also form mutual partnerships with many animals, including fungus farming ants and termites, ambrosia beetles and wood wasps, as well as living in the stomachs of cattle. But fungi have a dark side. Some fungi are toxic and can kill if eaten. Most plants are resistant to fungi, but when a plant is susceptible, fungal disease can be devastating. Fungi are responsible for some of the recently emerging devastating infectious diseases of animals, particularly amphibians, bats and soft coral. Fungi produce several important medicines, including antibiotic penicillin. They also produce statins which reduce cholesterol, cyclosporine used against transplant rejection, and also anti-cancer compounds. The wonder drug penicillin has saved over 200 million lives. Fungi don't tend to infect healthy humans, other than relatively harmless superficial infections of the skin and nails. However, there is a dark side to fungi again, as they can be hidden killers of the immunocompromised. Fungi help in the production of mushrooms and alcohol, which are two of the world's largest food industries. They are also used to make bread, chocolate, soy sauce, marmite, cheese, corn products and citric acid for soft drink production. Fungi have lots of roles in biotechnology helping to make new drugs. Fungal enzymes are used to make stonewashed jeans look distressed. They are used in fabric softeners, in the paper pulping and confectionery industries and to make biofuel. Fungi can help to mop up pollution in the environment, such as radiation. We know from fossil evidence that fungi were around after the major extinction events. We now think that fungi helped to finish off the dinosaurs after the meteor struck over 65 million years ago. But probably one of the most important roles of fungi in the environment is to provide nature's internet creating connections in plant communities. So, when you wake up tomorrow and picture your life, big cities, trees, breakfast, fuel for the car, a glass of wine with bread and cheese, or maybe a cup of coffee or hot chocolate, remember to thank Fungi for that.
BMS Promoting Fungal Science UK Fungus Day There are so many ways you can join in. As UK Fungus Day approaches, the BMS is helping to stage public engagement events across the UK, bringing together academics, enthusiasts, educators and families under one umbrella to raise awareness of fungi and what they do for us.